welcome to Blonde Cards and Crafts. Let's make something together. Hello crafters, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome back if you're a subscriber. And if you're not, please do click the subscribe button and ding the bell. Today I'm going to make a card and it's going to be a pop-up pocket card. This is going to be in an A2 American size and I'm going to use products from the Love From Lizzie January 2023 card kit and that kit is called To The Moon and Back. I'm a design team member for Love From Lizzie and I get the kits for free. So just putting that out there. These kits are great value. I used to purchase them for a couple of years um, until I became a designer. So I feel they're good value for money and there's great products inside. And that is why I do videos for Love from Lizzie, because it's a kit that I would purchase if I wasn't getting it as a design team member and which I did purchase up until becoming a design team member. So I'm going to leave links to Lizzie's website where you can have a look at all the crafty products that she has as well as the kits. Those links will be down below. Lizzie has a Facebook group as well where you can share your makes and I'll leave links to that as well as to my Facebook group which is called Your Cards and Crafts. There'll be a link to that below. So just expand the description by clicking on the more button. OK, I think we have all the housekeeping out of the way. So now, without further ado, let's get ahead and have a look at what you need. I have a piece of cardstock here. It measures 11 inches by four and a quarter. We want to put some score lines into this. Just one will do. Oh, that's what I'm looking for. My little scoring tool. So we're going to score this at five and a half and make sure your cardstock is up into the corner of your scoreboard because even if it's out a little bit, it can cause you to, you know, your card won't line up properly. So at five and a half, I'm going to score my cardstock like so. And that'll give us a top folding card that will measure um, four and a quarter by five and a half. So once I have that done, I'm going to fold that over and then I'm going to burnish that score line. Lovely. So now we want some um, mats and layers for this. And I'm going to talk about what's going on on the inside first. So I have a piece of white cardstock. This piece measures four by five and a quarter. And I'm going to pop that in here. That'll give us a place to write our message and stamp a sentiment. We've also got a little piece of the green cardstock. It's a half an inch by four, sorry, three and three quarters. And then I have a little piece of pattern paper inside. So that is going to sit across the bottom just like that and it's just going to embellish the inside now you can stamp the sentiment if you like we got lovely stamp set in the kit but i'm going to use one of the ephemera pieces and i'm going to pop that on the inside you're my favorite person isn't that lovely i love that so that's the inside pieces done. Let's now have a look at what's going to go on the outside. On the outside I have this piece I have used the embossing folder to cut this out. So I took a piece of white card, I put it into the embossing folder and it cuts out all these little hearts. And I've saved all my little hearts. I have them in a little dish here that I can use on my projects. So this piece of white cardstock measures three and seven eighths by four and three eighths. And I know this sounds like a weird size. You can go up. So if you don't want it to be three and seven eighths, go up to four inches. And if you don't want it to be four and three eighths, go up to four and a half. So it's up to yourself. The measurements, etc., that I give you, they're just a guideline for you. So I've put the green one and the white one together. So I have a background. I didn't want to see... Um, the pink cardstock behind because we're going to have a panel that's going to pull out um, from here. This is going to be our pocket. So on the back, I have some foam tape. This is a skinny foam tape. It's only one eighth of an inch wide and it's only one sixteenth of an inch deep. 
I get these from Amazon and I find them great for using with kinetic cards but I just want this to raise up a little bit now I've put foam tape on all four sides but on the top of this one so this is my top I've added foam strips to the back but I put a piece across the top here and I shouldn't have I only want to add a piece to the right and and left now I have my pieces at the sides and bottom and they will stick down securely onto the front of our card like so but we only want a little piece of foam tape on the top left and the top right about a quarter of an inch wide because we're going to have a pull out piece here and I'll get to that in a minute but we'll also have this stopper so our stopper needs to come up and just be stopped by having the little pieces of foam tape on the top right and the top left and I'll get to that further on in the video I just wanted to show you that here you can see how the stopper is going to slide up and down and it would have stopped across the top here but I don't want it to do that so this piece I have three pieces of cardstock stuck together and it measures three and a half by three eighths now you can have this as wide as you want you could go um, half an inch or whatever width you want it just happens to be an off cut that I had and I cut two more pieces to match next I have these two pieces this one measures three and one eighth by four and seven eighths and then my white piece measures three inches by four and three quarters I want to layer these two pieces together and you can see we have a really fine little border of green going around there this piece here then will get stuck on the top and we will have literally a little piece either side of about a quarter of an inch either side when this then sits on our card we'll be able to pull this piece up the stopper will come up with it because it'll be stuck down but it'll only come so far up because it'll be stopped by this piece here so it'll come so far up and stop so it'll go down and come up like so to embellish this piece the top end of this piece I have punched out a little circle in pattern paper and this was just an off cut piece that I used so this is a one and a half inch circle and I used my nested circle dies from love from Lizzie to um, die cut this out and then you can just write pull or stamp pull if you have a stamp for that so this piece I fold it in half and it will sit over the top like that and then this piece sits in here and our person then that gets the card We'll see that and we'll pull it up. I want to put something on this so when it gets pulled up, it's embellished. I have another piece of the um, die, uh, die cuts or ephemera pieces. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. I'm going to embellish that using some of the little um, leaves or sprig ephemera. And that then will embellish that. Now you could put a gift card on this. You could stamp a sentiment or use the piece of ephemera. But if you got a gift card for the person you want to give this to, they could pull this out and there could be a gift card on there. And when they take the gift card off, then they're left with a little sentiment inside. So that's another idea that you can use this pocket card for. So finally then I want to embellish the front of my card and I have this little piece here. Now we did get ephemera pieces but if you look at some of the pattern paper that came in the kit you'll be able to cut out some of the images as well. So I had one of the pattern papers and I cut this piece out of it and I'm going to stick this on here. I'm not going to raise it up because we have some foam tape here on this panel so I'm going to just stick this straight down onto this piece so they're all the piece and parts that we need for this now let's go ahead and do some assembly of our card so I'm going to take some of my cosmic shimmer glue and this is a quick grab glue and I'm just going to add this to this panel now we could use some peel-offs some pin stripes 
peel offs to decorate this but um i'm not adding any to the front so i'm not going to add any to the inside but really you could do that if you wanted so we should have a nice organized that it has the same border going the whole way around and i'm happy with that and then i can take my um little ephemera piece here and i'm going to add that down as well so no stamping for us for this card it really is a nice quick handy card when you have all your pieces together so i'm just going to make sure that's straight and i think it is i'm happy with that lovely so that's for the inside of our card i'm gonna pop that inside but rather than use my quick grab glue i'm going to use my kalal glue to put this on the inside there we go now lovely so now all we need to do is decorate the outside of our card So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to take my um, two pieces here and I'm going to glue those together first. So I'll add a little bit of glue to my white panel and I'll stick that down then to my green panel. And once I've that done, I can then add my little stopper piece. So I have my little stopper piece here and I just want to ensure that I have more or less the same amount on both sides so i'm going to use again my kalal glue to glue this down and i want to make sure that this is well secured down because i don't want this coming off but all it means if it does come off is that the piece will um will pop out of our pocket And I've added a little bit too much glue either side. So I'm just going to wipe that off. That's the great thing about the Kalal glue. It will wipe off and it doesn't leave a residue. Lovely. So I'll give that now a minute to stick and glue down. While that's gluing down, I can add my little sentiment panel. And again, as my Kalal glue is here to hand with the top off it, I might as well use that to glue this piece down. So I have to make sure I make allowances now for my little pull tab. So what I'll do is, if it'll stop flying out of my fingers, I'm going to just put that there so I have an idea of how far up this is going to come. And then I can pop that down there like so and i'll just make sure that it's straight the great thing about this sentiment is it doesn't have to be too straight while i have this piece in my hand i'm going to add some of my liquid adhesive to this and then we can glue this down as well and i'll center this here and i'm just going to eyeball it really I'm not great at eyeballing things, but it doesn't have to be perfect. I think that's centered more or less. So now we'll leave those to dry. I'm going to put the top on my Kalal glue. I want to use my quick grab glue now because I want to glue down this piece here as well as my little ephemera pieces. And my top keeps popping up, so I'm just going to use my... Um, bone folder or my scoring tool to score that top a bit better now look at that it's not better okay so i want to add these little pieces down so i'll take my tweezers and i will add a little bit of quick grab adhesive to these and i want to make sure these are glued down well as well i don't want them catching when they're when I'm pulling out this piece and popping it down so I think I'll put one there and one here 
So like I said, you could put a gift card on here. Just use a little um, glue tab, you know, one of those that are not, um, what do they call it? with a low tack adhesive just something that you'll be able to take your card off of and i think that would look really cool It'd be a nice little gift idea so i'm going to stick my little um couple down now and again i'm going to just use the quick grab glue to do this and once this piece is glued down i'll set it aside with a little bit of weight on top of it so that it adheres nicely to our embossed panel once that's dry, we can take our two panels now and then stick them onto the front of our card base. The best thing I think to do in order to assemble this piece is to pop it like this into your panel. And then you can take off the release paper and then situate that onto the front of the card. I don't know if there's any easier way to do it than that. And I'm just going to make sure that that pulls up and down nicely along there. Which it does. If you find it sticking anywhere, then just take a little trim off your piece. If you find it's sticking on your... Um, on your little side piece so that's what I'm going to do because at the end of the day um, it's being stopped at the bottom here the only reason I have these pieces sticking out is so it's not wobbling over and back so I'm fairly happy now with that so let's go ahead now and stick our panel down so I have this down at the bottom there and I'm going to add this on to our panel and if you keep an eye on your three sides here are the same then it should sit down fairly nicely for you just like that that will do nicely so I'll add a little bit of pressure now to our foam tape and then we can pull out this panel and you can see then it won't come up past the end there. Now, there we go. That's the outside of our card and the inside of our card. So I want to embellish this now and I'm going to use some of the lovely peel offs that we got in the kit. And I'm going to use my pokey tool to embellish them. I'm going to put a heart either side here. And I'm just going to put a little, a little bit of glue to ensure that my peel-offs stick. And I have to say, I find that all of Lizzie's peel-offs are really good to stick. The thing with the glue is you need to add a little bit of pressure. So when you use a peel-off and you stick it down, Add a bit of pressure over the top of it and that way you'll know it'll stick in place. I just add the little bit of glue as a little extra for myself so I can be sure they're not going anywhere. And when you put some peel offs at the top corners, make sure it's not in the way of the panel we're going to pull up and down. So I have finished the card by embellishing it. I've added some glossy accents or accent glaze to my peel offs to the balloons, to the flowers, to his little top, her little outfit, to her bow in her hair. And I love this. There's lots of shine. And the great thing about adding a little bit of accent glaze or glossy accent to your ephemera or your peel offs or your images in general is it gives them a kind of um, a puffy sticker look, depending on how much of your accent glaze you add on but I love all the shine on the front of this card then we have our pull out piece and it pulls out lovely and there's room like I said to add a gift card on here if you wanted to add a gift card on you could do I've as well embellished the ephemera pieces here with some glossy accents you could have just stamped these down and stamped sentiment if you like you can see also here that I have the foam tape is just on either side of the panel here 
and you can see there it leaves room then for this piece to be pulled up especially if you're going to attach something like a gift card to it so i would recommend put your little piece of foam tape either side here so it catches on our little stopper and it'll only allow it to come up so far so i hope you've enjoyed this card this is card 10 um we've made 10 cards using the january 2023 card kit by love from lizzie called to the moon and back and it you know it looks like a valentine's type of card kit but you can see we've made loads of different types of cards so if you enjoyed my videos and you're a subscriber and you like this card then leave a comment down below and what i will do is i will give this card to one person i'll randomly pick out a person that leaves a comment below and that says that they'd like to have this card so make sure you let me know if you'd like to have this card so that i can put your name in the hat and then i will notify you in my next video um who the winner was i'll also put a notification in lizzie's facebook group my blonde cards and crafts page as well as my group your cards and crafts so keep an eye out for that if you would like me to pop this card in the post to you do let me know so that's it folks all the links are down below in the description make sure you click on the more button so you can expand that and see the links to the kits to the um, groups and to the measurements as well so i'm going to leave it there enjoy the rest of your week and until the next one take care and bye for now bye bye